Hi guys, good morning. It is Sunday, the 10th of July. It is Tarot Day! So, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Today is my third attempt at doing today's tarot. I've cut down the other two versions because they didn't go the way I personally wanted to promote. The cards that I'm getting, <laughs> oh my god, it's a crazy time, okay? Crazy, crazy, crazy time. So today, <laughs> I'm not going to call it the no tarot tarot day again. I can't do that a few day, few weeks in a row, right? So today I'm going to talk positive. How do we stay positive when all the world's going to cray cray? How do we do this, guys? You know, I think I make a fatal mistake when I say to the universe, I need a card for the whole world. Because the whole world incorporates everyone that's doing the right thing by them, the universe, and those that are doing the wrong thing. Maybe I should just be asking, give me a card for those who are doing the good thing. <laughs> Oh my god you know I'm gonna go there I hope and pray that the people who watch my channel we're all on the same side of the fence right we all want to be the best that we can be we all want to be great people we all want to be kind loving generous supportive understanding friends to everybody right please say yes to that <laughs> Because what I'm finding is when I do these tarot spreads, there is some real nasty stuff going on. <sighs> really nasty stuff out there. Have you noticed it? How many people now are just so angry? You know, where did natural, you know, what, oh, what I call natural courtesy. You know when you, like 10 people are going to a doorway, one opens it, let everybody else walk through. We don't have that anymore. If you're in a queue, sitting in, a, a, in your car, if you're in a tr queue of traffic going to the set of lights and you've got a guy that wants to verge into that lane, merge, I should say, where's that common courtesy where we leave a gap so he can come in? No, stuff here. Yeah. I'm just going to drive past so everyone else behind me drives past and you can just sit there for 10 minutes because I'm so deserving. <laughs> I deserve to go forward before you. And I think that's what it is. Everyone's getting deserving. I deserve to be able to have my freedom because I haven't been able to do anything for the past two years. I deserve that last piece of cake. You know, it's, it's awful how some people are now feeling that. So the more that we do those random acts of kindness, you know, just open a door for somebody when they're about to go through. Just say, oh, oh you can go first. Hope you have a nice day. Hope you have a nice day. that sort of stuff that is what's going to win this war because this war is a spiritual war i don't know if you believe in aliens how many species of aliens are there how many aliens are here on the planet right now i don't know i don't care what you believe in because i don't really care what i believe in but let's just go there with the possibility that they are here and there are good ones and bad ones wow that would make sense for what's going on wouldn't it <laughs> Oh, come on, we've got to laugh at this. So today, guys, keep your vibration really high because I've got one card. What do you think the card is? I want to talk about this card because not only have I had it before and then I had it before and then I had it last week and now I've got it again. <laughs> it's the tower. Do you know what this card really means? <laughs> People say it's the worst card in the tarot deck. And I believe it. Because this card means doom and gloom for many. But the whole thing is, if we're prepared and we're doing the right thing, this won't affect us. This only affects those, as the book says... 
The tower represents such situations for anything that is built on illusion or false beliefs is now coming to an end. How many times have I said the lies and the deceit out of what they're doing to us? It's all coming to an end. It's not just going to be done in one day, guys. It's a little bit here, a little bit there. It's crumbling and falling. We look at what's just happened in the UK. Oh my gosh. A lot of people in high places knew about a certain MP with what he's been doing for a long time. They all supported it. Huh. So please don't look at the 50 politicians over there who just resigned. Look at those who didn't. Because they're the ones who knew about it. They're the ones who supported it. They're the ones, ultimately, still in the job to do it again. If you don't know what I'm talking about, research why did Boris Johnson resign? It's all to do with a certain MP. <laughs> his first name is Chris. And I don't like saying his last name because that's what he used to do to other men. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. You really can't make this stuff up. If you're confused, email me and I'll tell you in an email, okay? don't want to put it on YouTube in case I get caught in algorithms. Okay, so let's go there. A lot of things are now falling apart. Look at the Georgia Stones. Is it ironic that there is 24-hour, seven-day-a-week surveillance on those rocks, yet we have all this footage of when they blew up, but where's the footage of the person who put the stuff on it to make it blow up? Think. Think, guys. Where's the footage that shows who put it there? This was a deliberate act. They're not investigating who put it there. Okay, they know who did it because they've got the footage of them. <laughs> and isn't it funny how it's on a certain president's birthday? Come on, work it out. Was he involved? Huh. Let's go there this week raise your vibration guys because those that have done nasty things their life is falling to crud think about how your life's working out for you at this point are you a loving kind person and your world's going great or are you selfish conceited jealous and greedy and you just lost your job because that's how the universe works think about it every action that we have is it a good action are we sarcastic judgmental gossiping because that's all negative or are you supportive understanding and kind think about modifying our behaviors but we've got to do it because we want to not just because of the brownie points at the end of it like a reward because those who do it for the just being of service to others we're going to be fine Oh my gosh. She just interrupted me and said, yes, you are. You know, I look at my messages that I get from them, not from emails, okay? But I look at them and the messages I get, we're getting looked after, guys. And at the end of the day, this life is just one life of thousands that we have. And we all return to that majestic soul image we are immortal but this life is our roller coaster of learning so many of us have been facing with learning in this one this is a doozy okay i don't think there's any young souls on the planet at this point we're all here to learn doozy of lessons right so this week i'm not doing the other cards because they're all nasty <laughs> but i will show you they all represented this 
Actually, I've got my ruin stone still here. It's the need ruin. The need ruin says this is the time to start to take stock. So if there's a message with this one, start stockpiling food. Shortages are occurring. It was on our news this week here in Australia. Um, collect food. Store up. Get at least six months of food. You know, I have breakfast boxes with all like cereal, life, um, long life milk, sugar, that sort of stuff, jams, um, cake mixes and stuff that we can make pancakes and stuff with. I've got my lunch boxes and then I've got my dessert, um, sorry, my dinner boxes. All things like soup, tins, tinned food, jars. Jar stuff lasts for two years. Tins can last up to ten. Okay, so start collecting all your, you know, go up and get all your tinned food, tinned fruits, tinned um, spaghetti, tinned soups, okay, because you can eat them raw without heating them up because they're already cooked, okay, so prepare for the worst, guys, but we always hope for the best, hope that this is not going to their plan, they're going to crumble and fall before it comes to fruition. Because the more we put our energy into being good, loving people, the more we care about others, the more we say, you know what, I don't give a heck what you do with your life, I'm doing mine right. And the more that we say, you know what, you can go and do that all you want, but you know what, I'm not going to pay attention to it. Because I'm paying attention to being good. I want to be kind, loving, supportive. I want to be free and do what I want. The more we raise ourselves up, and we say that to ourselves. You know what happens? It's infectious. It goes out and reaches to everybody else on the planet. And the way that we do it is by making them all crumble and run away. Because that's what's happening. It's all happening. It's coming out. The truth is that the lies and the deceit is now coming out. People are waking up. People are scared because they're so why the heck did I believe that crud for so give them that comfort give them that support and most of all give them that opportunity where you are compassionate and say thank God you woke up because so many haven't thank you for finally working it out because so many will never thank you so much for wanting to be a better person because so many will fail and we all know what's happening to those ones so this week guys really get out there and push it be kind to everyone at the shops as you walk past people say hello I hope you have a nice day they'll think you're nuts and crazy but who cares what other people think we're raising ourselves up, right? This is our opportunity. This is our chance to win this war. Hope you all have a good day, guys. Talk soon. Bye. To learn more about your solistic alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.